Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm going on a special trip. I'm actually going to the UK for filming. I watch a lot of YouTube channels and one of the YouTube channels that I do watch is uh, a dude called Luke Cockford and he has the channel Luke's Not Sexy but he also has another channel and that's his, his side channel and that's called Luke's Quite Sexy. I'm gonna go into that whatever but he's doing a film and he did a Kickstarter campaign where he was um, asking for funds for this film and I contributed and his film is called The Drowning of Arthur Baxter and I'm gonna be an extra in that film so today I'm waiting for my cousin right now he's gonna come here and we're gonna go to the airport in Bilund which is a very small city here in Denmark but it's actually the city where Legoland is and where Lego has their main factories in the world Denmark is Legoland <laughs> we're gonna go to the UK and outside they're working on the sewage system pretty irritating but I'll bring you along the way and see how much I can film of this hopefully I can get to have a little chat with Luke about his film that would be so awesome we're on the on the way the next car is already waiting to get my parking space and over here is my cousin John that is coming along for the ride so and here's my car we just put in the bags so uh, we're going to the airport now okay had a little bit of extra time got a home early so I'm here at Legoland and it's I don't think it's open right now although there is a lot of people here so it might be opening later I'm not sure but this is the original Legoland it's uh, from back in the 70s I, I think yeah and I'm actually born in this city so when I was like an infant my mom was taking me around in Legoland in my carrier Okay, we just parked and right over here is the Billund airport and it's not a very big airport so it's gonna be very interesting to go to, to Heathrow airport where we are going. We're gonna fly to Brussels airport and then we're flying on to Heathrow and we're gonna be renting a car there, it's gonna be so exciting. Okay, this is the second largest airport in Denmark. I'm just gonna turn all the way around because what you see here is what you get. This is the entire airport and we have to go and check in over there. Change of plans. Apparently they have overbooked the flight. So we got new tickets. So instead of Brussels, we're now just going to Copenhagen. And we, well, we are leaving one hour later. So we have one more hour to waste in the airport. And from Copenhagen, we are going directly to Heathrow. And well, these were the tickets that I was too cheap to buy. So we kind of got an upgrade and we should be in Copenhagen at 3 o'clock. And on the other tickets, we would be there at 5 o'clock. So we also won two hours in the end. So, well, this is pretty awesome, actually, even though, even though we are very mad about not getting our tickets. Surely it's my cousin and he's cracking the Wi-Fi. There should be free Wi-Fi here. We just haven't figured it out yet. Well, I do kind of make a tech channel. So um, we, I just connected to the Billon Wi-Fi here and on this very nice ThinkPad from Lenovo that you know is my favorite brand. And right now the battery capacity down here, it says 98% and it says that I have 9 hours and 31 minutes remaining so I think I might get a chance to test out the battery capacity I'm going to be playing with this and enjoying the free Wi-Fi for the 2 hours that we now have to kill uh, we are actually we are at a cafe, we are waiting for our food so I guess that would be good I'm actually doing something with my Synology NAS at home and right here I'm at the Synology Quick Connect and right here is the new Synology NAS that I was configuring the other day. You have seen that video just the other day, so we can actually go see how that is doing by clicking right there. And it will connect to my Synology NAS at home. If it connects, that is. Okay, it connected to the NAS server, so now and I've, logged, I've tapped in the login. So let's see if I'm able to log in. Hey, it actually loaded. And down here it tells me that my magic fee is the trial, go get lost. 
and I am on my Synology box and right now I am I'm copying files. I did that from home. Uh, these are all my old DVD files. DVD I digitized all my DVDs and I'm copying that over from my old NAS to my new NAS and also up here I am with the storage there. I am also expanding my disk group right here. That's expanding with a new 4 terabyte disk right there. And that is 40% fun. So we're working at that as well. Breakfast has arrived. Very healthy. So now we're boarding our plane. This is a very small plane that we are boarding. It's one of the small ones where you have to get out on the runway actually, or almost on the runway. And this is the plane. It's an SAS plane, Scandinavian Airline System. I don't know what the S I don't know what the last S is for. It's a it's a spare S. Okay, this this might be a bit noisy, but we are practicing. This is tea. We're going to Great Britain, so we are practicing and we are starting with tea. in Copenhagen airport now we actually flew 35 minutes in the wrong direction so well, now we have to catch our flight which is already 20 minutes delayed uh, for some reason but um, well, I guess we'll still be there a couple of hours early rolling sidewalks I didn't know we had these here I tried it in Amsterdam airport but I never tried it here but apparently we have the rolling Please. So that's our gate. We are going for D103. Please, please, if possible, stop a flight unless passengers waiting behind you pass. We have a full flight this afternoon.
the tank when you bring empty. Okay, we've reached London and we already found the, the queue of cars waiting to get out of here. So, And Jörn is driving and they place the, the steering things in the wrong side of the car. And this is, it's ridiculous who comes up with this stuff. Well, <laughs> but, well, we are trying to figure out how to get to the M4 highway and um, it's going pretty good. We, we brought the GPS from home. Jan has a GPS and instead of renting one at the rental where they want a fortune for it I heard that 30 pounds per day yeah 30 pounds per day is not uncommon and they also wanted to sell me all the insurances in the world like insurance for the self-risk they wanted to sell me that I don't like those companies much okay, we actually have some sunshine here but we also have rain Welcome to Great Britain, apparently. <laughs> Driving around in the wrong side of the road is going marvelous, but I haven't done anything too stupid yet, except trying to get into each other's seat. And we found a little here, so we've just been in shopping for some small things, for something to eat, barber cream and stuff like that. So, well, we didn't know that little was in the UK so pretty cool so it's the next morning uh, we have been sleeping very well I have been uh, booking an Airbnb here not long from where we are attending the film thing and this was mm, very fairly priced I must say uh, I think it was about 60 quid for two days of sleeping and I haven't done my best so but I have been playing here answering comments on the Lenovo laptop and right now I'm packing my bag and this is this is England so I brought a raincoat so now it's gonna be dry weather all around and down here I've brought a uh, changer thing because these are the plugs we use and these are the plugs that the British use so uh, that one changes it luckily we use the same voltage so that works well. So yeah, otherwise we yeah, you saw that we went to Lidl, got some su supplies, and oh it even comes with Wi-Fi, so I have internet here too. Awesome. Just took away the curtains so that we can have a look out. And that's pretty neat. Solar panels and over here as well there. And there is one even further back there. So solar panels is also a thing here. And the rental car is down there. Um, it had only under 2,000 miles on it when I picked it up at the rental shop. Um, I really hate those rental shops. When you're standing there with your passport in your hand, they try to cheat you like ever so much. I had to pay 1,250 pounds in deposit for this thing, which is a lot. That's enough to drain in the account or at least mine is pretty dry right now let's go film it okay we have arrived at the film shoot and it's actually it's school it's a regular probably pretty regular school here in great britain i can't say the names of the cities around here cutchester or something like that i'm not sure oh i'll write it down here <laughs> it's much easier for me but um, we have been in here with uh, the other extras. There's not really that many, but we have been entertained more than once by Luke, and he has been talking about what what direction his film is going in. And a lot of good stuff like that. But now it's very windy, so we'll go back in again. And this is Clara, and she's getting ready to be a student in Luke's film. I'm filming you, filming her. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the Smoves got all the way from France. <laughs> okay, if you don't want to be in a video, then hide. <laughs> um, the, all the people from Kickstarter are here, well not all of them, that'd be weird, that's 4,000 4, people. But, here is some people from Kickstarter. Hello. Hello. Good to be in the film. These guys just, can I touch it? <laughs> oh. It's beautiful. They're getting into school uniform costumes to be students. 
Good luck. <laughs> Rocking that up. Oh, God. <laughs> I think actually it would be cool if we had school uniforms as well. That would, that would look awesome. Yes, awesome. You're probably pretty it tired of it. Weird. No, it I'd, does? I'd rather yeah. not yeah, but I, yeah, I again, like the more piece of this, oh, as well as fine. metal, yeah, it's fake! <laughs> Whenever you sneeze, you bang your chin on it. <laughs> I just enjoy filming people <laughs> filming people. You're right the You're so fine. May change over 17 years? I think it would make more sense for it to be the same. Because it was the same when you were here. My school uniform when I was there has been the same for like 50 years. When I was like, oh, no. Is this your school? No, I think these are old school. Ah, oh no, my hair looks horrendous today. <laughs> really? You want my baby. Awesome. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you are massively showing me up. Look at my pathetic vlogging camera. And then yours. Ah, oh, let's go this way so we can do some light. I'm gonna get out of the way. Hello, Jen. And then we really need to get you guys to set. Beautiful. Hello, Jen. I just do it all the. Hello, Jen. Oh, birthday draft. Okay, I've I've caught Luke Cutful. Hey. Can you say that right? I can't say it right. Luke Cutful. Cut, full. cut, okay. get cut, and full. Cut and Peter, job. Okay. And <laughs> we travel all the way over here to see him and That's amazing. his film production. And Thank you. What have we? What have we been doing today? So today you have been extras. So you've been playing a teacher, yeah. uh, and you've taken someone's football away. And you more than once. <laughs> more than once. You gave it back as well. Yeah. So you were nice, and you stopped a guy being on his phone. Yeah. And was that in scene? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to so. be cut out because <laughs> I was ridiculously bad. He's going to cut me out because, well, I ruined more than one shot. That's for sure. Oh, you didn't. We got, we got, <laughs> we got it good at the end. No, but yeah, you've been really good. Um, and in the next one, we are. You'll be overseeing uh, people, like kids having their break time, their lunch time, and you'll be standing there being a teacher oh, very being sternly. Bad, uh, yeah, bad guy? yeah, bad guy. Okay. And you've been filming for eight weeks now? Yeah, eight, uh, must, yes, eight weeks, yeah. You must be pretty tired <laughs> by now. <laughs> I'm so dead. Yeah, I've got two weeks and one day left. So, okay. nearly there. It's just because you're a YouTuber that you can do this? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, the freedom to do this? Yeah, yeah, well, entirely freedom, yeah, because I was able to sort of um, have people who want to see the film help to make it happen and help fund yeah. it. So cool. that's, yeah, I suppose it's because it's. Including me. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I have a stupid question okay. because I have a YouTube channel and I do videos about how to take computer equipment and I have like 97% men watching yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are your. Mine? Oh, I'll find, I'll find <laughs> out. I'll find out for you now. Um, so mine are. I think it's something like. 65% girls. Oh, I, I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> uh, it is audience. 68% girls. 60. I was so close. I was so close. Yeah, 68.7% girls and 31.1% boys. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm, gonna, sighs> I'm stopping making server <laughs> yeah. videos. I'm going over to. Whatever you're doing. Vlogging? <laughs> Vlogging. He makes like computer yeah, stuff. Funny, funny, funny films. That's yeah. amazing. That's really cool. So, some people think. I think it is. I love, I love computers and I love, okay. like if I wasn't. This is like yeah. the enterprise. Yeah. Computer yeah. stuff. It's servers ah. and storage. And okay. Very networking nice. Networking yeah. and virtualization and okay. stuff like that. Very cool. Yeah. So yeah it's yeah. probably more the manly business. Yeah. No, I don't think vlogging is particularly manly. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had something really stupid happen to you under this film? Um, oh, something really stupid. Really or something stupid. you didn't think of. Like, we use, when, when I make film, we make yeah. a list of all the shit that was that not could, supposed to happen. Could go wrong. Yeah. Um, uh, I had one. Oh, ooh. No, ah, I think it's gone pretty well. There's, 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 like, the guys running the production have been incredible, so I, there's not loads that's gone wrong. Um, <laughs> Ah, no, no, genuinely no. no. Nothing's, oh. gone, nothing's gone horrendously wrong. That's a really boring answer, but but that's true. Like it's yeah, gone really well. Have, you have to have something go wrong. 
Let's see. Um, oh, I did notice on the last day of filming at the bathhouse, the last location, I realised we had uh, forgotten to film an entire scene. So, I found that one, but that oh. didn't go, we, we fixed it in the end, but that was pretty bad. Um, uh, we had our production manager get ill, so badly ill that she was out of work for two weeks. So that was bad, uh, and I didn't see her, but she just stayed in her room all mm. the time. But other than that, no, it's been pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Hopefully nothing goes wrong in the next two weeks. I, I tried a production where we, we had to throw a suitcase down the stairs yeah and it hit the camera and the lens broke off that was like oh three no. thousand pound lens one of my That's one of the actors bad day. yeah one of the actors told me that, that he was on a film once where the camera got hit by a truck and it was a hundred thousand pound camera and a one hundred thousand pound lens and the lens went into the camera it hit so hard the oh. lens went inside the camera <laughs> that's two hundred thousand pounds that they just lost Bad day of filming. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank, thank you, you for, for interviewing and thank you for coming <laughs> and thank you for making this happen. <laughs> thank you. Bye bye. Bye. This is the wrong place. 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 We're letting them win. Yeah, that's sure. Thought, thought they was young, so you know, give them the ball and that, like, let them have it for a bit. Then oh, see if they're down. Oh, 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 teach oh. them a few things. Ah. Yeah, that's what I was Slate 355, take one. Mark it. No. No, you don't mark it. Don't record. Have Point a put it towards the slate. Press it, record. Mark it. Mark it. Can I go? Second six, please. What did I do wrong? Nothing. I Everything. <laughs> Sec second sticks. Thank you. Third sticks, anyone? <laughs> Yeah, go on then. Alright, right. third sticks. <laughs> Sorry. Third sticks. Alright. Why'd you get the third one? Because you wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, so really follow you. Camera set? Go Okay, that was the that was the shooting part over here. Now we just have to have another sleepover and go back to Denmark tomorrow. And it's a very pretty place. Behind me is, I think this is pretty much common English houses. It's very Harry Potter inspired, or the opposite. Well, going back and getting something to eat. So now we're driving again almost crashing again <laughs> and we're gonna go and see one of the big tourist places here in the UK oh actually it's not but you'll see when we get there oh here's the big attraction that we are gonna be watching or going in and looking at Tesco we've never been here and it was actually Jan who wanted to go here so well I'm just following along for this one so let's go into Tesco we don't have that in Denmark so I do believe that you can get a greetings card for mostly anything here. This is like one roll of greetings cards. And over here is the other one. Just as long, all the way down there. And I found one here that I especially like. Dad, cool. These are not very bad here. They're like, well, 20 pounds in Denmark for eight blades for the Gillette thingy. 
but they are still they're still more expensive than getting them from China where I only pay five pound five so I'll keep doing that okay got a new traveling bag here that should fit what you can bring on a plane hopefully this will be good I think that this will be good I was hoping for one a little bit bigger but this one will have to do we got out and my bag was like 15 pounds back at my room here and the new bag is gonna be replacing the old bag because I don't like that much even though this is a sponsored from compact it's old and I don't like it much so well we got this one so I'm gonna be taking everything and putting it over in the new bag we had one of the Tesco people try and help me find out if um, they had a bigger model than this and I really wanted the, as big a model as possible to go in hand baggage but the big model they had they that wasn't approved for hand luggage this one should be accepted as hand luggage by most airlines so I hope most airlines means most airlines but well there has been a lot of problems with the with the tickets and boarding passes and stuff like that uh, I've at least gotten 20 emails from the airline companies we booked our flights with the uh, Brussels Airlines and um, they haven't been able to deliver for us so now we are flying with SAS so instead of flying at 11.30 we are now flying at 2 o'clock and instead of getting home at oh, midnight we are now getting home at 1800 hours so that's awesome uh, instead of flying over Brussels, we are now flying back to Copenhagen again so it's a pretty mess but it turned out to be for our advantage I totally forgot to check this but well happily my laptop fits in the back that was the problem I had at home that my laptop wouldn't fit in the bag that I usually bring so our I actually got a handbag where my laptop will now fit okay here it is and the laptop fits on top of that and it closes and the old bag is trash we're ready to go home tomorrow paper is done cool okay we are back at car park and we're gonna be documenting the car how it looked when we returned it far we've driven it's now on 2140 miles well after being ripped off by the evil car renting companies we are now at Heathrow Airport again and we have found our way to terminal number two which is somewhere around here even though they don't really say where the where it is so we have to find where the check-in for Scandinavian Airline SAS is and um, well probably somewhere upstairs so, well, I didn't film very much after this last clip you saw and um, it was because I was in a terrible move after that. The rental company, Easy Rent, Heathrow Airport in London, they found this little bump in the rental car and they charged me 170 pounds for that little bump that they took out of my deposit. Uh, 170 pounds is, is not really enough to, to make it a really bad day. It was um, the fact that I forgot my laptop at the rental place and then um, only found out about that I was missing it when I was to take it out of the bag in security and it wasn't there. And they had already tried to call me that I forgot my laptop, um, but then it was too late to go back and get it. So I was pretty, pretty mad at myself the rest of the trip home, let's just admit that. So although the trip was pretty much perfect, we flew to Copenhagen and directly home to Billund and drove the rest of, oh, I was charged 255 kroners for two days of parking. Pretty irritating, right? Yeah, and then I could battle with the, the problem of getting my laptop back. 
they had it in the car rental shop and they, um, the, the car rental firm was located in the same building as a big hotel. Charlington Skyline Hotel Heathrow London, which I need to give a big thanks. They have actually shipped my laptop back to me. And I just got it here. I did have to pay for it myself, but well, rather than, than not getting my rather expensive laptop back, I just picked this up and uh, well, we have something we need to check out, don't we? Today's Wednesday. And uh, I started this trip Friday. And by the way, the laptop is back and it's spotless. No damage whatsoever. But look at that. I used it in the car shop and it still has power on it. So yeah, I'll just log in and see how much power there is left. And the last thing I was looking at was my insurance for the, well, I did actually make an insurance for the, the car thing. I paid four pounds a day for insuring the insurance. So how much power do we have left? 30%. And we should be good for 2 hours and 28 minutes. And this is after running whew, since Sunday. Uh, I forgot this at 10 o'clock or something like that. 12 I don't remember, but I haven't charged it since I started the journey Friday. So that's pretty awesome, right? So the laptop is back. Cool. I can see that it's called the Seaton Skyline Hotel at Heathrow Airport in London. Thank you very, very much for your assistance. I was a maniac for getting my laptop, but I was so, oh, 170 pounds for, a, yeah, you saw the little dent in that car and I have no idea how that got there. We didn't bump into anything. The rest of the trip went really well and I enjoyed a lot going over there and seeing the, the production of the drowning of Arthur Baxter especially enjoyed watching how they did their film production if you haven't seen I have put some behind the scenes of my film productions on my youtube channel here you can go back I might just put a video to see in right here you can go see how we do films and on a ultra low budget they had a little bit more money to go with at this production but pretty much we do the same thing I think they had planned a couple of days here for all the extras that wasn't very busy because uh, they didn't film very much. We did like four small clips. I wasn't able to film that very much because I was in it and you have already heard me and Luke talking about that. It was okay fun. It, it was great. It was a long trip to be in a few small clips but it was also something that you can talk about for many years. It was an it was an experience. Can you say that? It's something you can scratch it from the list. You're not supposed to run around with a camera when you're doing some extra. Like I did sneak in my mobile phone in one of the clips where I was a teacher. Afterwards, I did, did a little bit of video of the director playing football with the other extras, the, the kids. They were really cool, these kids, especially one of them. He had a lot of attitude and it was great fun. Well, thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again doing something completely different the next time. And hopefully not using as much money. Hopefully. Have a nice day. Bye bye.